What's going on everybody? Skyway Bridge. Sun's coming up. It's about 50 something degrees out. A little chilly. But I'm meeting uh, Captain Todd over here in St. Pete. And we're going to head offshore. Hoping for some hogfish. Maybe even a gag grouper or something fun like that. But I love that bridge at night. I always stop here if it's dark or early in the morning. Changes colors. You probably can't see it real good, but it is sure a beautiful spot. This is just the rest area before you get to the bridge. But We had a saying, red sky at night, sailor's delight red sky in the morning sailor take warning i hope that's not an indication all right let's go meet up with the guys As you can tell, we're with Captain Todd. We've got the band back together. All the guys are here today. And this is not a Tidewater. 32 contenders. Look at the size of that bad dog. Is that size right? Is that, is that, yeah, that's that's, that's the spot. one we want, baby. Beautiful. Big feet are kind of messed up. Throw them back. Yeah, this is the male. Look at teeth. He got some fun, funky looking teeth. Get rid of him. You making fun of its teeth? <laughs> He's good dentist. Good job, brother. Thank you, man. That was pretty epic. Good one, Rick. It was a uh, pinfish. I got color. My amber jet. Is it an AJ? It's not fighting like a guy. It is an AJ. You got two lines here. Amateur so, Jack? You know, it's a toss. Baby AJ. I think I'm getting eight, man, with a big old pinner. Oh, boy. He got some shoulders. That might be another AJ. Oh, big, big old shark. <laughs> My camera guy, Rodney the rod holder, couldn't get that shark, but he was right there. Head first, brother. Good luck getting down. Probably get eaten before he gets there. Oh, that might be an Almaco. 
That's an Almaco. He going home with me, baby. Clay, 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 Clay. Ooh, Clay. <laughs> uh, I think I just got upgraded. Yeah, you just got eight? You just got upgraded, he says. Yeah, that's always great. No, you, you got eight. He's got a shark now. I don't know what it was, but it was a good fish. Dang it. What'd you do, Cap? My fish fish down. Ooh. He just got eight. Get it, Bill. Nice and easy, Bill. Nice and easy off the bottom now. Oh boy, here he comes. Big hog. Yup. That's a nice hog. Oh boy, I'm afraid to I'm afraid to lift him in, but I'm going to. Beautiful. Holy shnikes. Who wants one? Who wants one? Dude. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. Damn it, I waited for that one four or five times. Yeah, man. That is beautiful. You don't need to measure him. Is he in the slot? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see him. Pick him up. That's a big fish. Big hog. Nice hog. Yeah, it is. Nice. Get that bad boy up. Oh my goodness, another trophy lane. Jeez. Look at the size of that thing. Don't pump it. If you have a hole in his mouth, he's just gonna come on. Just real. Steady real. Wow. Look at that one. Careful, man. That's a light leader. Woo! Dude's on fire, man. Who's the pig punisher? Florida man. They don't call him Wild Bill the Hog Slayer for nothing. Hog Let's fish. Let's get another picture, Bill. Land or sea, baby. Dude, nice fish. Just a little kiss is all I want. <laughs> tongue, little tongue. Come on. Dude, there you go, brother. They're gonna call me Captain Santa Claus out here on the water. Why is that? Because I'm slaying these fish. <laughs> you up. really are. You just caught another nice mangrove. What's Cap got on here? Here he comes. I'm slaying these fish. There you go. Ooh, ooh, nice. ooh, little red. Hey, Bill. Yeah. This is getting kind of old. I'm not even joking. I told you. I'm tagged out. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'll just be the camera guy. Sound good? What is this? Oh my word. That's a stud. That's what that is. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a male. Yup. He lit up. Another one. So you guys are just over here making it look easy. We're on them. Two nice hogs. That's a hog fish. Get it in the boat, Rick. Look at that. Ready? Yep. Nice. nice fish. Dude, these are some studs. Coming in the boat. Sling them in them in. What do you got, a jig head? They got the craziest mouth ever. Coming back at you guys. I think I'm officially the only one that hasn't caught one yet. Uh, I'm with you. You caught one this morning, didn't you? Well, you've been sleeping all day, so they don't even count. <laughs> it does not make me feel any better. They're beautiful fish, though, Bill. Nice job. 22 and a half. Nice. Beautiful fish. 
Got some shoulders on them already. All right, we're gonna head back to the dock. Got a bunch of hogfish though. They got a bunch of hogfish. That Almaco? Yeah. Been a minute since somebody else believed my fish. Sure you can handle that one? I mean, it ain't like you do this every day. Oh wait, yeah, you do do it every day. Made it home. My kids are like, I want tacos. I was like, I'll make you tacos because there's football on tonight and we need something quick and easy. But I ran out of taco seasoning. So we're gonna make some new stuff. Check these fillets out. Hogfish have no bloodline at all. So the bloodline would be right here typically. And uh, the poor geese just have a slight bloodline. Almaco, but you can see the difference. So it's fresh. I'm not worried about taking that bloodline out, but if you know you're not real fond of a stronger tasting fish, you can take that bloodline out. But the fresh fish will not be as strong even with the bloodline. I'll tell you that. 32 contender ain't no joke either. Whew. It'd be awesome to be able to afford one of them. But I'm very thankful for the boat that we have. All that stuff, I compost a lot of stuff in this house. We, we cook a lot of fresh vegetables and uh, a lot of fruit. So the peels and everything end up oh, in the compost pile. What's up, kiddo? This is gonna be weird to a lot of people, but Ellie has like, like recently been like fed up with fish and like, eh, not a huge fan. Been forever. Yeah. But if you had one fish, other than like maybe tuna or something like that, what would it be? Hogfish. So that's pretty cool, huh? Did it. They gave me a hogfish filet. Those are green onions. She's an onion freak. Oopsies. She's just a freak. <laughs> Aren't I right? <laughs> I'm a daredevil. Yeah. Take care of your daddy. Come on, buddy. Okay. Come on, hugs, hugs, up. Up. We, we taught him not to jump, and now you're trying to teach him to jump. No, he doesn't jump, jump when he Get down to his level, honey. Hugs, up here, up here. Good job. <laughs> What's up, Ben? Yeah. All right, kiddo. 
Let's get these uh, seasonings mixed up. Sea salt, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, onion powder, chili powder. Cayenne. No, I thought they were both the same. Okay. Hold on. Ground cayenne red pepper. Oh, Oregano. Okay. He needs he needs these. There you go. I will not admit that yet. Even though I can't read or see or any of that stuff. What are you laughing at? You need glasses. <laughs> you can laugh at an old guy. I'll wear them. You'll wear them. Oh, you're blind. <laughs> Those are store bought. Those you bought them for Ben's stinking Halloween costume. <laughs> one and a half teaspoons. All right, one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. Paprika. Five teaspoons. Evidently, taco seasoning is something very interesting to this dog. Garlic powder. One and a quarter teaspoon. How much cumin? One and a quarter. Onion powder? One and a quarter. Chili powder? One. I'm going to throw a little Cayenne, red pepper in there. I'm gonna do one. You're going all rogue. Yep. That's how we roll in this house, rogue. <laughs> She's saying that because her recipe doesn't call for the red pepper. And I, I put... need to follow it to a T. <laughs> to, to this T? Hi, T! That's not on my menu. No, it isn't, but it is now. Last but not least, oregano. One teaspoon. All right. All right, kiddo, I got a job for you. Can you shake that up? How did you know I was gonna say that? Mm. Smells good? It does smell good. It smells better than the store bought. Yeah. Do we even have hamburger? Sorry. Yes, we have hamburger, but we're going to use fish today for this I'm one. I'm used to tacos with hamburger. <laughs> there was another half to this fish here, Jim, but uh, unfortunately it got stolen right off of the cutting or the fillet table by a uh, bird. You're a thief. You're a thief. That. That's your hogfish. I mean, He's like, if you want to drop some, not again. All right. Take our flour and a whole bunch of this seasoning. Let's see if that's enough. I want to see that flour really change color. You got to get any more. I think you are right. We're going to make it stronger. Don't let me take your job. Make sure you put the lid on tight before you. All right, take a look. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Hogfish. Shake and bake? Shake and bake, baby, shake and bake. Yep, that's what we're looking for. All right, the thicker pieces first. Take long, a couple minutes aside. It smells good. I feel like it's not <laughs> spicy enough. Remember, I said add more, and you were like, "No, oh, we're good." No. Yes. Yes, yes I do. Steve said we're good. You're right. We could have used more. All right, let's pray real quick. Okay. 
Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. Thank you for a safe trip, dear God, and a wonderful time with our friends. And uh, we just ask that you will be with all of us in everything that we do. In your Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, I love me some hog fish. Is it good? Yeah. What do you think? That's the Almaco. Wait, one little bite. No, you go ahead. That jack is nice and juicy. Look at that. Thanks, Cap. And to the rest of you watching, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And uh, God bless you. Thank you for being here. And uh, I guess we're going to see you in the next one. Route.